Oh, what's that here in front of my door? Look at this. Um, darling, I have a date tonight, but it's a date without you. <laughs> I have a blind date with this package tonight. Am I allowed to go there, even if it's without you? Hello, darling? Ooh. Okay, I think that was a yes. What do you think? <laughs> I think he said that I'm allowed to go to this blind date tonight. Yeah. Okay, for your information, this is the condition of my home at the moment. We have built this little thing here up the last few days. But I think I have to be spontaneous now and leave my hubby alone at this construction site that we have here at the moment. And I have to go to my desk to unbox this thing here. <laughs> this is a really, really special thing. This is the Blind Day Junk Journal Project. I have thought about something special. I wanted to make a design team project for 49 Dragonflies. So I came to the idea to ask Susanne, known as Bollenhut Art, here on YouTube, if she wants to join me and if she wants to make a little collaboration with me. So this Blind Date Journal um, project is a collaboration with Susanne from Bollenhut Art and it's at the same time a design team project for 49 Dragonflies. Hi, Barbara, if you perhaps are watching this. So, surprise, surprise. <laughs> we thought about something special. We wanted to, yeah, make a surprise for you and, of course, for our viewers as well. So, we thought about a special project. I think I've never seen something like this before. Hopefully, I'm right because I'm really proud of this idea and I think this is a really fun thing um, in not only to do it but also to watch it so i i'm really hoping that you as our viewers will like this as well if you perhaps have missed my last video let me explain what we did and what you can expect what you see here in this box there's a junk journal that was made by susanne from Bollenhut art i made a journal as well i and i've already sent it to her so today you can also find a video on Susanne's channel where she's unboxing my journal. But the special thing about this, and that's also the reason why we've called this project Blind Date Journal, is that we both don't know what is exactly in this box and how does this journal look. We have really... Um, much contact we are talking every day with each other but we haven't told us anything about this journal and which papers we used from barbara's barbara's shop and so on so i have no idea how this journal looks i i have no idea what i can expect when i open this box um and that's the special thing about this blind date junk journal project that you get something and you don't know what you can expect and what you have to do. So the first thing that I can see here in this box is really interesting. Um, we have a little package here. Originally, here were some sweets in it. Um, but I will tell you something about this later. Um, I think there are no sweets. Even if I can... Uh, yeah, I have, I have to have some. I think I have to organize some from somewhere else. <laughs> So let's see. So um, I think I will put this aside and look at that later because I see this really cool fabric. And this fabric was so surprising for me because Susanna had sent me a piece of this fabric that she obviously used to wrap her journal a while ago. And I have this fabric in my stash. And first of all, I thought I want to use this fabric for my journal. But then I decided uh, yeah, to do it a little bit different. And now I have this fabric here and she used it to wrap the journal. That's, that's the first really crazy thing. And obviously in this little box, there are, there's no chocolate, no sweeties. <laughs> this is a message for me. Susanna has written that um, she's really excited because, yeah, of course, she also doesn't know what she will get from me and what journal, which journal I've made. And um, 
she said um, here in this little note that she thinks that um, this project is new and that um, the world hasn't seen it before. So as I said, I hope that it's the fact. And yeah, I'm shaking this because I want to know if there are some chocolates inside, but it's so light that I know that he has something else inside and she has eaten the chocolate by herself, I think. <laughs> so we have some doilies here. Um, so uh, I don't know what this is. Is this a happy mail or shall I use this in the journal for my creations? I, I don't know until now, but this feels really, really smooth. It's really, yeah, a really nice material. And oh, what do we have here? This is special. This is really special. This silvery um, thread here comes from Susanne's grandmother. I know that because I know her channel really well and she um, is using this thread really often. Um, she is hoarding it a little bit because it's a treasure for her to have this from her grandmother. But it's also, um, you can also see it in nearly every of her projects. That's a cool thing. She's using this thread so often and that, of course, makes her creations really, really special and When I have it in my hands, I can feel this special thing about it. It's so sturdy and at the same time, so filigran. Unbelievable. It's so cool that she has sent me something of this. So let's take this out and let's see what is inside here. I am so excited. <laughs> I can't tell you. It's so crazy when you don't know what you can expect, when you don't know which papers she has used, which colors you have to um, use for the next things. I mean, I have to do something that matches her journal. I have to make something that matches the colors that she has used here and the style and everything. <sighs> and I'm sitting here and I am really afraid to open this because I I don't know what is inside here. Perhaps she's kidding me and she, she makes something really... <laughs> <laughs> ugly or something like that but whew, okay I think I think I can calm down because this looks really cool look at this cover this is really really cool this feels really smooth this lace on the side it's really cool and this cover is really really great and she has made a closure as you can see here and oh now I'm realizing that this is a face but Let's go step by step. She, she has added so many details here, even if this is only a few pieces, but uh, she has stamped, obviously, her channel name, Bollenhut Art, here onto this um, piece of fabric. Um, this These are really cool stamps. I only have these little bit bigger ones that always make this frame around when you stamp. And these stamps are really cool. So this is obviously... A coffee dyed piece of fabric, perhaps some kind of a pillowcase or something like that. And she has made this little um, holder here for the label. Look at this. This is so interesting. She has put two um, holes or I mean, there were holes. I think um, she made them a little bit bigger in this lace. And then she put this string through the holes. <coughs> Excuse me, please. So that you can um, wrap this around the journal. It's long enough so that this journal can also grow. That's the plan that this journals, our both journals will grow. But that's really cool. So if we get an alligator mouth <laughs> in the end, this closure will be um, still long enough. And this cover, I mean, respect, Susanne. I, you have my biggest respect for choosing this cover. It's incredibly. I mean, this is a face and she has put the label on top of the eye of this woman, obviously, because a uh, blind date, do you know, uh, this metaphor is so strong. This is so cool. I've never seen a book cover like this before. And If I turn it around, you can see um, here are some more faces in this really strange pattern. This looks so cool. I can see several faces here. Perhaps from your perspective, you can see more. What was this? Um, this is a German book. It's called Love is Only a Word in German. Liebe ist nur ein Wort. And I have to say, this is really thin. I mean, 
if you know Susanna, you know that she is creating really bulky and massive, massively decorated journals. Um, and she is overloading her pages really often. It's a really cool style that she is um, creating. And this is really thin, but I think she knows what she has done because this journal shall grow, of course. So here we have a little pocket with this tag and this she made out of the front page obviously of this book um, this says the title of the book again and then she has written her menu so this menu I have to use for my creations in her journal this is some kind of a special prompt list that tells me what I have to do I will um, talk about this later in this video series and tell you more about what I have to do there so Let's first look at this journal and look which papers she has used from Barbara's shop and how she has done everything. I'm so excited. So this pocket is a really special thing. I've never seen something like this before. She has obviously um, painted the inside of the cover or I think there's a fabric underneath. And then she has cut these holes and then um, she has sewn around as you can see and she has glued it so that there's this little pocket. And here I'm wondering if she made these white marks with her hand. It looks a little bit like she has put acrylic paint or something like that to her hand and then pressed the hand to the cover. Really interesting. The next thing is, this looks like two papers were glued together. Um, the top paper that you can see here on the right side is from Barbara's shop. Um, the piece on the bottom, where you can see my finger here, it's something else obviously it doesn't belong to this original print but I, I can't feel how she has attached it that was so strange it felt like it was one I, I don't know I really don't know <laughs> and she here she has um, attached some lace and this is also a special thing I mean do you know this when you have things in your stash that you like to use in your journals you often do the same things with these materials in this case the lace is two layers i mean a really wide one and a smaller one um, and she has layered them and then sewed them to the page um i probably uh wouldn't do this um because for me this is too too much I thought it is too much for me. I, I have problems to explain that in English, what I want to say. Sorry. I mean, when I can see it when and when I can feel it, I want to make it like she did it here and I want to try it out. That was really interesting for me to feel this lace and how this whole thing feels. Um, really crazy. So um, the paper on the left side is from Barbara Strop as well. And this page here is I think an original. I think Susanne had a video about a happy mail the other day. I'm not totally sure, but I think so. Um, and there she has shown this incredibly paper. This is really cool. The next page here with this big building, she has obviously copied to a kind of vellum paper and crumbled it up a little bit. That feels really, really cool with some golden splatters. Of course, golden splatters, uh, you know, design team project for 49 dragonflies uh 49 dragonflies gold splatters do you know <laughs> bling bling <laughs> you can't do anything for barbara um without using watercolor in gold and make some splatters <laughs> and here um susanna has obviously sewn a really thin paper it's some kind of a tissue paper to a book page um that's ah uh, yeah some kind of I think something like a dictionary. I'm not so sure. Um, this um, is a really crazy page because there were two words that I've read in the first moment when I looked at this page. So the one word that I've read there was brave and the other word was cowardly. Hopefully that's the right English word. So it's the opposite of brave. And that was so interesting for me to read that. I don't know if she has put it there, uh, if she has realized those words. I don't know. But they are fitting to this po project so well because you have to be 
brave to do this project and you can't be cowardly if you want to do this. Um, Susanna has to be brave to send her journal to me and of course I have to be brave to send my journal to her and we both can't be cowardly to um, create something in the journal of the other person. So that's, yeah, some kind of um, a caption for this project. So that's, that was really cool to find those both words there in this journal. And on this right page, I realized something um, that was really surprising for me. Um, this page, as you can see, is really grungy, really dark. Susanne used a, a black woody pen, I think, um, to make this frame. And often when I see her create in her journals and she's using this black woody pen, I think it's, for me, it's too much black. I have a problem with too much black. Of course, that's a personal thing. It's an emotional thing. It's Mm, something that can change daily, of course, but often I think, woo, too much black. But on this page, it was not so, so extremely for me. To see it in reality was a totally different thing. On this left page, she made um, two pockets, as you can see. She used some structure paste. This red thing on the left side is some fabric. Really interesting layering here, by the way. And um, to explain this concept a little bit, um, the first step that we used to make this journal um, was... No, this sentence will not make sense anymore. Sorry. So we both created a journal and we had some rules. So we were allowed to create some pockets like Susanna did there on the left side of the previous page and some really, yeah, mm, how can I say that? Really um, less decorations, no um, full decorated pages. We can... Um, put something into our journal to give a starting point for something new. So that is the stage that we have at the moment. We both have this journal from the other and we are um, exploring all of those starting points in this journal. I mean, we can see the sewing, the stenciling, some paint, um, the different materials that were used, the different... Pa uh, papers and that stuff, different, also different resources that um, Susanne used to create this journal. And this shall be our starting point to create something new with the help of this menu that's on this tag that I have here in my hand. So hopefully that makes sense. Of course, in the next videos, this thing will change a little bit because now we know the base of the journals that we have to work in. And this little thing that was so cute. I, I, I have seen this and I was so in love with this thing. She has obviously um, made some holes into this brown paper so that the book page from the other side can look through that. And then she has painted some white paint around, made this little flower and you can open this. And when you close it, this uh, little flower, it's not a flower, it's this, you know, this little botanical thingy is complete. And I, I, <laughs> I was so in love. And as you can hear, um, I make a voiceover at the moment over my German video. So in my German video, there's my original reaction. And when I'm, while I'm speaking this, of course, I know what I have seen. I mean, I have seen it before um, and it's not my original reaction. So I'm talking in the past sometimes. Um, sorry about that. But this was so cute that I have asked Susanne in my German video if she can make such a cute thingy with this botanical thing in my journal as well. And I'm hoping, I'm so hoping that she, um, uh, yeah, that she is um, <laughs> doing this and that she wants to do that for me because that's so cute. Perhaps she will not use this rosé pink uh, tone for the botanical. Perhaps she's using some green. <laughs> you know, I hate pink and those colors. But I'm so hoping that she will do that for me in the next time when we, I mean, the next time when we change the journal. At this point, of course, it's too late because when she is seeing my, my video where I'm asking that, um, she already has created everything and her video is ready 
uh, as well. So she has the chance for the next time when she gets my journal back. But hopefully she remembers that I love this thing. <sighs> yeah, okay. So here we have a pocket um, as well in this typically Bollenhut art style. Susanna is often sewing her things together with some embroidery threads or something like that. And I think all of these abstract things are really, really cool. Sometimes she's using some black pen, some white gesso, some golden splatters. And she has an incredibly awesome piece of art that's so abstract that... Um, I want to be honest, sometimes for me it's too abstract. I have a personal problem when some when things are too abstract, but I have the biggest respect for what she is doing. This is really, really crazy and really, really cool. So um, here she obviously printed some of Barbara's designs to a book page and then she added some structure paste through a stencil to get this really cool mandala thingy on the right side. Ah, this is so cool. And all these golden marks that she made are really cool. This material, uh, I said, I want to be honest, really strange for me. <laughs> when I touched that with my hands, I thought, ooh, what's that? I mean, this was some kind of a nice feeling like you have on a wedding dress and at the same time these pink flowers felt so well i mean do you know what i mean <laughs> really crazy i'm hoping that she will not use pieces of this material in my journal um the colors will not fit so that's a plus point for me don't know if that's an english word perhaps you know what i mean uh, but yeah i can only I can only uh, pray that she will not use this crazy fabric thingy, lace thingy in my journal. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> let's talk about the positive things <laughs> and let's talk about these splatters. I think she made them with some coffee and some golden paint because this um, really intensive brown of the coffee has a little shimmer in it. It's some kind of glittery it's really cool um, and yeah, I really like this dark splattering on this yellow paper that fits really well together. And here she obviously printed one of Barbara's designs to another book, pa book page. I think that looks really interesting and I think I have to try that out. So this was sticking a little bit, but um, I could manage to uh, bring the pages apart from each other. I mean, we made this journal during I think two or three nights and then we've sent it to each other it came directly from our desks into the package and then we've sent it because we wanted to bring this idea to life and to our channels and to you of course so this was some kind of spontaneous this project idea but um, then we felt so deep into this idea that we had to do it and we made some yeah uh, in German, we would say Nachtschicht. That means you work during the whole night. And then we've sent it to each other. So it's normal that some pages are probably a little bit wet or <laughs> sticking together because the paint is not dry. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's look at this. This page also was really mm, interesting for me. I mean, look at the color combination. We have... This pink from this lace material, then here is a some kind of metallic paint on this fabric, the blue, the orange, and then on the right side, these brownish and grungy vintage um, colors with this elegant gold. I mean, <sighs> who would combine those colors? This page, the same thing. Who would combine these colors? Here it's not so extremely like on the page before, but there are some pages where I think, uh, I can't say this word, what the, <clears throat> I can't say that because, you know, here I'm on YouTube in public and so I don't want to say that, but you know what I mean. I think Susanne is one of the really rare people in this world who can manage such color combinations. 
Um, Barbara from 49 Dragonflies said the other day in a comment below one of Susanna's videos that she perhaps has to try out those more extreme color combinations as well. And I think we can learn really much by looking at those creations and um, exploring those details in other people's creations. Mm, I got so many inspiration from this journal. You can't believe that. I only have flipped through it and I got so much inspiration. This um, tape, for example, Susanna made by herself. I know that because she has a video on her channel that I, I've watched and I've really enjoyed that. She has made that uh, by herself so that she can use it in her journal. So if you want to check that out, go to Susanna's channel. You will find a video there. It's a German video, but I think you can um, guess the idea. This is so cool because it makes... A paper so much more vintage when you glue something like that there and here um, I'm checking the construction of the book I mean it's also an interesting thing um, how another junk journaler is constructing his junk journals um, here she obviously made a hidden spine we first uh, had talked about to make this um, how is that called this hello spine where you have this little space between the spine and the signatures um but she has glued it completely it can flay it lay flat on the table was really surprising for me because this journal is really it has really thick pages but um she managed it really really well to get this really sturdy i mean that's also a point a really i think important point if you have a junk journal on your desk you don't want to have that the pages are moving uh you know what i mean and that's also a really interesting thing to have something physical in reality in your hands that someone else ma made you can learn so much from other people's creations it's really cool and not only the creative creative sorry not only the creative um, aspect is important for me but also the construction of the book itself and this handmade aspect of the book um yeah <laughs> mm, okay so here we have a loose book page that's perhaps interesting because this book page looks really cool perhaps i'm allowed to use that for something else that i can create here in her journal and um these little botanical thingies here that you've used for making these embellishments are from Barbara's shop as well, I think. Yeah, I, I, I not I think, I'm sure because I've used them as well. Here we have a page that's also, <sighs> yeah, this kind of too much abstract for me. I mean, I think I can be honest and say that because I'm saying that to learn something for myself and perhaps when i speak it out it's a, it's mm, some kind of helpful for you as well and of course it's not meant bad or something like that but on this page for my personal preference mm, hard to explain uh first of all i thought it's too much black for me but then i realized it's not too much black or not too abstract but it's the fact that this pen is not blended this mark that the pen made is too heavy, too extreme for me. But yeah, perhaps I can also try that out and make something similar to learn from this experience. Here's the other side of this page on the right side. Really crazy. I think I can't live with those things in my journal, but it's a personal preference and this is the chance to try out something new. I've told you that many times before and I think other YouTubers, especially the junk journalists, tell you that every day, try out something new. But this is a special thing, a special kind of trying out something new. So, yeah, <laughs> let's see what we can what we can do. So um, here I'm realizing that the white marks on the cover obviously don't come from Susanna's hand. Um, it, it's not possible, I think, but I have to ask her. So this is the, the journal and this is the menu card. 
that Susanna has written to me. So let me try to translate what she has written here. <laughs> That's not so easy. Okay, so let's try it. For the start of this menu, she wants me to create a whiff of grunge on a lovely rosé pink junk journal page with two little pockets. When I read this, I thought she was kidding because, you know, rosé and pink. I hate those colors, but now I have to live with it and I have to see what I can create for her <laughs> in her journal. For the main course, she wants me to create a dramatic collage that meets an oversized blossom of, blossom of a rose in pink. Pink! Susanne! Ach, okay, so I think the only pink blossom of a rose that I had, I've glued to her menu card that I've already sent to her. Nice, isn't it? It's really nice. <laughs> I don't know how to manage that, but I will search in my stash for some things that I can use and for an interpretation of this, yeah, some kind of a prompt on this menu. For the dessert, desert, no, desert is this other thing. Dessert, you know, the last thing that she wants me to create is a junk journal pocket that is... Mm, Yeah, in German it's herzhaft. What's the English word for this? Uh, yeah, okay, so the translator says it's hearty or lusty. I don't know if you understand <laughs> that, but I shall create a junk journal pocket, a tiny pocket that has hearty or lusty things in it. Uh, something like that. It's really hard for me to um, translate that. So you will see my creations in Susanne's journal, in this journal, in my upcoming video. So if you like this idea and if you want to see what I create with this menu prompt list, then please stay tuned, watch my future content and I'm really, really happy that you were here with me today. Thank you very much for watching and joining this fun project. I'm always happy to have you here with me on my desk. See you the next time. Stay creative, stay healthy. See you. Bye bye.